Well, hello. Uh, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a, a reseller based in the United Kingdom. I buy and sell things and flip them for profit, mainly antiques and collectibles, um, but I do a bit of curiosities and things like that as well. I'll buy from car boot sales, charity shops, auctions, flea markets, antique fairs, you name it, there is no limit. And, well, it's not much I won't buy, as long as I like it. Now, this weekend I went out to car boot sales. So sat, I'm going to talk about Saturday's buys and then we'll have a look at Sunday's buys. Now I haven't got it all at hand to show you, some of it's going to be photographs because I've already listed or sold some of this stuff and we're only talking Monday. So Saturday through to Monday, two days and some of this already gone. So we'll start off with Saturday. Now Saturday I went um, to my local house clearance um, place a few miles up the road and I purchased um, an Art Deco uranium green glass bowl with frog and um, fish insert and it's built in now. Now absolute stunning piece, cost me a tenner and they, they range on eBay sort of from 40, 50 pound all the way up to 150 pound but this exact model you know is 150 pound. Now the one I bought is in mint condition and I think I've put it on the website for about 75, 85 pounds, somewhere on there. But it's gone on the website already. That's why I've got it in hand here. If anybody wants to look at anything on the website now, the new website's up and running. It's antiquesarena.com and it is up and running. So all the really nice stock now is going to go onto the website, not onto eBay. Um, the other piece I purchased from him was a Czechoslovakian Art Deco Alienware vase. Cost me a fiver, there it is. Beautiful rocket shape to it. I love the rocket um, pattern on the vase. It reminded me of the bomb vase done for liberties by Archibald Knox with the wings at the bottom there and looked like an upside down bomb. But it was a rocket vase. Now that cost me a fiver and that's, they were selling for as much as 50 pound and that's up on my site I think for 40, 45 pounds somewhere on by there. Again, Really nice item. Now I went to Bessemer Road car boot sale on Saturday morning uh, for 10 o'clock in the morning. Buyers had already been in for 10, 20, 30 minutes, wherever it was, unfortunately. Um, and he did say he was opening the gates at 10, but obviously once everybody's set up and he's happy that it's safe for everyone to go in, he opens the gates. Well, everybody, it was quiet, so everybody was finished setting up by half past nine, so he let everyone in. So they had a half hour head start on me. Now I went in, the only thing I purchased of the general public was four bits of jewellery. I bought three absolutely stunning silver rings. Take a look at them, they're absolutely gorgeous. Now we wanted £40 for the three silver rings, which on the surface sounds a lot of money. But I think I can get £45 for the one garnet and diamond ring, and maybe £30, £35 for the other two rings. So we're up over £100. But I also looked through the rest of his jewellery out on the table, the junk jewellery, and I found a celluloid, a mid-century celluloid cameo reproduction brooch. So it looks like a cameo, but it's made of celluloid plastic. Now, I threw that in with the deal. So I had the four pieces for £40. So if you like, they cost me a tenner a piece across the board. Now, that's the best way to look at it. The cameo is going to be 30 quid, 35 quid all day long. Um, you'd be surprised them celluloid brooches do sell. I'm going to get £30, £35 each for the two rings. So let's say that's £90 on the three pieces and then £40, £45 on the really nice garnet ring. So I'm up £120 plus for that £40, so nothing wrong with that. I, had, I walked around all the rest of the public and all I saw was toys, clothes, games. I'm not a toy dealer. If it's a vintage toy, I'll pick it up, but I'm not a toy dealer. I buy antiques, collectibles. I try and find something with a bit of meat on the bone. So what do I do? Well, Bessemer Road has got little shops all the way around that used to be businesses, but they shut them down years ago because they're gonna demolish the site and build on it. Now in the meantime, you've got lots of little house clearance people have took them on. So I go in these units having a look, and in the one unit I found a blue and white coffee set. Four cups and saucers and the coffee pot. And I knew what it was through the cabinet. 
And I said to the lady, how much is your coffee set? She said, it's 20 pounds. I said, I'll take it, please. Um, I examined the coffee pot, because that's the, that's the money piece. And I said, I'll take it. And I gave her the 20 pound and went home. Now the coffee set was by Arabia of Finland. Really, really top um, designer. And I really get good money from. Well, when I got the, got the set out, the cups all had little frit in around the rim. But I've sold them. I, I listed the, the cups on Saturday on eBay and I sold them on Saturday on eBay for £25. So I had my money back and all the fees covered by that £25. So the coffee pot then became free and the coffee pot's the money piece. The coffee pot has gone on my website, uh, antiquesarena.com and that's up for £85 and it is mwah, mint perfect. Over the moon with that. I also, from the same dealer, bought a Japanese Miji period uh, Kutani teapot, hand painted, beautiful bit of porcelain, really nice coffee pot for three pounds. Three whole pounds. Well, beautiful thing as you can see, that's up on the website again for about 45 pounds, somewhere under there. Really, really nice. Since the um, stuff's already been listed and wrapped and that, unfortunately you ain't gonna get to see me handling it, but you get to see the pictures. Now, yesterday, Sunday, uh, myself and Stephen, we went to Car Boot Sale and wow, we had an outing. We started off, I checked, the, the weather was looking pretty iffy, so I didn't go get the year. I thought it's going to be really cool, it's not going to be a lot of people turn up, the field's going to be muddy, we've had nothing but rain, and that's if they don't cancel. So I said to Steve, we go down to Bridgend. So we drove down to Bridgend multi story, we got there, and there's loads of people there, and they turn around and say, can't let you in. They haven't given us the keys for the um, multi-storey car park. Council changed the locks during the lockdown and they haven't given the car boot sale um, organisers the keys. They had to turn all of us away and we'd all, well, for me to drive to Bridgend is a 40 minute drive. So you can imagine it's a fair little run, but it is work. We're allowed to travel if it's work. Um, so that weren't on. They cancelled it. So then I said to Steve, well, have a look if Swansea's on. So he goes on his phone and he says, Post year from the Strand, we're the only car boot sale on this weekend. The Strand is a multi-storey car park in Swansea and very similar to Bridgend. So we drive down to Swansea, 10 junctions down the motorway, or another 20 odd miles. Got there, went on. He'd looked at the wrong post on his phone, it was an old post. When he went on their Facebook page, it said they still closed from lockdown. So, so far we'd done like an hour and a half's driving for absolutely nothing. Waste of fuel, waste of time, and stress. So I said, come on, we go back to Bessema. We jumped in the car, we drove back to Bessema. We got there for nine o'clock. The, the sellers roll in and set up, and, but the buyer's not allowed in anymore straight away. So we sat down, we had a cup of tea. Half hour or so passed, and he said, come on, in you come. So we all went in. So I did buy a few bits in Bessema. Not a lot, it was quiet. It was only one row and a few around the edge. But what I did have, I have, we'll start off, I had this, which is a small cricket bat, um, is signed by the team. These are always done and given away for charity to sell uh, to make some money. And this one was the David Hemp Benefit Year of 2008, Glamorgan Cricket Club. And you got all the signatures coming down here. Now it's in lovely condition. There's the signatures. I paid a tenner for it. But I never really struggled to get 30, 35 pound for these um, cricket bats. That's gonna go on my website now this week. It's not on there yet, but it's gonna go up on there this week. And I'm gonna be asking 35 to 40 pound for it. I'm telling you now, but it is a nice little bit of Glamorgan uh, history. 2008, so it's already got some good age. And there's a good following for Glamorgan Cricket Club. Next piece I had, same dealer. It was house clearance stall, he was the only house clearance or dealer there, and I had a hand pistol. Just like James Bond, eh? <laughs> what can I say? Now, this is a Crossman Arms Co. Uh, of New York, USA. Fully stamped up, it's 22 caliber. It's nice condition, fully oiled up, and it works. Cock it up and fire it off and it does work. Safety catch, nice grip, it's in good condition. 
a little bit of weight and scuffs here and there that you'd expect, you know, very minor scuffs. Uh, but it is a functioning two tool air pistol. And it's an American one. Um, now, it cost me £25. It just feels really nice, good balance, nice weight. It really does feel nice. And, well, I haven't done the research on it yet, I'll be honest with you. But just off the top of my head, I'm going to be somewhere around £65 asking on this. It's going to be around there. It may be, when I do some research, it may be just a little less or a little bit more, uh, depending on the research, but somewhere around 65, 70, 75, somewhere around that sort of bracket for a nice condition, functioning American hand pistol. That's not expensive for an original. You've paid after a reproduction or more. But that again is going on the website. The only piece I regretted buying from Bessemer was this. And I don't know why I regretted it, because I've sold loads of them. It's just, I don't want to be doing this type of stock anymore. But it was there, it was cheap. It was, you know, there wasn't a lot of stock there. And I was, mm, I want to buy something. So, it's, it's an arts and crafts, a silver plate, a pern bars. It's a nice piece. And I've sold plenty of them for between 10 and 20 pounds. I really have. So you've got this little silver plate flute. And you've got this beautiful organic uh, leaf design and the little flower head here. It's a nice thing, it's a nice object. It's a standard late Victorian, early 20th century, silver plate de pern, arts and crafts, and I suppose you could put it down towards the art nouveau period, uh, but I think it's more arts and crafts. Uh, it cost me a fiver. If I get a tenner for it, I'm happy. It's a nice little thing, it's lost some silver. But it's a good, honest antique. And for a fiver, I thought, you know what? At the time, I thought, I'll have it. But on hindsight, I don't really want five pound stuff to sell for 10. And that's not what I'm about anymore. I want to be buying something like the coffee set that I can buy for 20 quid and pull a hundred pound back. And still know there's profit on there and collectability on there for the next buyer. Um, now, yesterday, Sunday, I went to auction with Stephen. Bessemer was so poor, we went, we decided, I said to him, come, we'll go over to for Industrial Estate, which is local to the car boot sale. And we were walking around the flea market, and I bought a few pieces in the flea market, but I'm gonna put them in the next video. And then we stayed for the auction. And boy, did I buy some stuff. Out of the 300 lot auction, I bookmarked, 300 lot, I bookmarked seven pieces. That's all I bookmarked. And I went in strong, I went in hard, and put my card up, and I didn't pull it down till I won. And I won five out of my seven. The only two I didn't win was a Klitschy um, Millifiori paperweight. I went up to two and a half hundred pound on it, single paperweight. Uh, the auctioneer started asking 400, 300, 200, he couldn't get it. He had a commission bid of 170. I took that commission bid to 240, and I didn't win it then, so I let it go. But by the time you put commission on that, you're talking £300 for a clitchy paperweight, and you're getting in the realms then of what you can buy on eBay. It was a nice one, it was probably worth five or six hundred pounds, but then by the time you pay 20% off the top of that, you're parting with four or five hundred pounds to make a hundred. It's just not worth it. Don't justify it. So I let it go. And the other piece I bid on was a nautical sextant. Uh, what's a sextant? If you imagine a circle of brass cut it into six pieces, so you've got six little triangles, and then they mount mirrors and lenses and that on there. It was for sailors to calculate their lo exact location whilst at sea using the stars. Uh, they, you could have a quadrant or sextant. A quadrant is a quarter of a circle, a sextant is a sixth of a circle. It's quite simple. And then they'd look at all the lenses and that, and they'd use their charts, and they'd, they'd work out from the, the time of day, um, and the stars and everything exactly where they were on the earth. Quite a complicated thing for, you know, for Victorian era. But they done it. And I didn't get that. Again, he started out at £60 and I was the underbidder at 220 So, you know, I give him a run for their money. But again, you were getting the rounds of, you know. But this one was boxed with his paperwork. It was beautiful, but probably needed a bit of a clean up. So I let them two go. Brian, five lots including an old antique percussion shotgun. You're gonna love to see that. It is beautiful. All etched up the barrel, not the barrel, sorry, the, um, the grip. Really nice piece. 
I'll show you that in the next video. Um, we also bought some bits in the flea market. So what I'm probably gonna do, out of the auction lots, I'm gonna make three videos. I'm gonna show you in the first video, uh, the shotgun, uh, the pieces I bought in the flea market, and the single lot that I bought. And then I'm gonna do two videos showing you the, uh, the job lots I bought individually because there's just so much stock in them. So believe me, you're not gonna wanna miss them because one job lot of brass I paid 170 pound for an auction plus commission, which is about 200 pound. And the other one I paid 90 pound for plus commission. So you can imagine how, how big these lots were. There was a lot of stuff in them. And I done well in the flea market too. I bought a couple of pieces that are mwah, straight going on the website, beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there guys. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed um, nice bit of update there and go check out the website leave a comment you know send me an email through the contact us page wherever you know I'd love your opinions on how the websites come in I've added the terms and conditions page now still waiting on getting the subscription done for the blogs and the newsletters and I'm gonna start on newsletters it's just so much going on I got like a hundred uh, I'm juggling and I got a hundred pins in the air that's the only way I can describe it so Stick with me and we will get there in the end. And if you're noticing how thin I'm looking, jump over to my other channel and have a look at my um, dieting vlogs because I have done really, really well. I've lost uh, over 20 pounds in three months and you get to see topless photographs of me before and after if you want to see that sort of thing. And you can see just how much weight I've lost. And I tell you what, it's shocking. Um, I do a blog every Monday showing my diet, showing what I've eaten through the week and show you a video of my weight loss. So check that out. I'll put a link for that in the description, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.